What's going on? Why are the monsters attacking us? General Jupongi, sir! Hear me! Men, we have been lied to! But we shall not take this lying to lying down! No! Spread the word! Queen Destiny is trying to revive this deal! The Fallen Angel? She's not real, right? My poppy used to tell me she's real. This is not the time to debate fact and fiction. Spread the word, and call me boss henceforthfully. Yes, sir! Boss. Oh, we need to run! I ain't going nowhere. I lived my whole life here, and I'm staying put. I... Huh? Where are we? Hey! We didn't die! Right? I know you! Use the princess! The Distron armies abandoned us. If you know what's good for you, you'll get out of here too. Run away? I don't like that plan. Me neither. Oh, Lady Solange, please forgive my son's rudeness earlier. He didn't know what he was doing selling y'all to the Queen's army. We know our fate rests with you. I'm staying here, but y'all need to get yourself to the castle. A ruler must protect the people. With this sword and my companions, we cannot lose. You have nothing to fear. Leave these pushovers to us. I love this song! Oh my god, Solange is actually here in the battle! Oh my god, I did not know that was actually a thing that they did! Oh my singing god! Okay, I actually got surprised about something. They added Solange into this fight! So, obviously you can only do this mission with either Solange or Ally. I didn't... But originally it was just one of them. It wasn't with both of them. Why can't we have this throughout the entire game? It's so cool to see multiple characters on screen even if I'm not controlling them. It just shows that we're not alone and shows that like we got friends on our side. We're gonna help us throughout everything. Good morning everybody, it's me, Nightmare. Welcome back to the world of Coda Princess. In the last episode we went to another dimension and saved that dimension and saved all other dimensions technically. But in this episode we're going back to our own dimension to save our dimension. Hooray! Because we didn't save our dimension enough apparently. But whatever, yes, in the last episode we explored Blade Strangers with Solange Alley and some other dudes. In this episode we have returned to Code of Princess to finish the job that we have started. We have only just begun. So let's go ahead and get this started. It's so cool seeing both of them there. I seriously was not expecting that. Oh my god, I love it. Let's see if I get a lock on, get some combos in there. I'm kind of rusty when it comes to Alley, but thankfully I don't have to go at it alone. What I learned when doing off-screen training is that bombs are just crazy powerful, especially against armored units, so I'm just gonna keep on doing that. Uh, I'm trying to not to use the salad analogy again, but whatever, just so stinking fitting. So we just get more damage in. And let's see, how do we get some combos in there? Yeah, that little slice and dice, good on. Do, do that. Oh my god, the double combo with like flipping them back and forth, like playing tennis with swords and everything. I'm just so happy seeing both of them there. It's like, it's so epic and awesome. You know be really cool? Oh my god, like I, like I said, I have not played the EX version all the way through, like I said. I only played the first few missions, so Marco Neko in general, like, uh, I play, I stopped playing like right after we got Allegro, I think, is when I stopped playing before the practice run. And, uh, if the final boss gets changed to where everyone is in, is part of it, that will be incredible and insane, and I would love it, but I doubt it because that would just make uh, my life way too easy, and I doubt the game would ever want to do that for me. But if it does, let me tell you about it. That'll just be amazing. And we got a fight boss. Hello, giant iron gauntlet, dude. Go ahead and do that. Lock onto him so we can get some extra damage. And just keep on throwing bombs. Thankfully, our partners don't get hurt by our attacks. We could see an actually good salon. Probably should have played that salon just so you could see uh, Alley being used properly. Because uh, we all know I can't use her properly for stinking beans. Uh, we seem to be going, doing good damage though, so it seems that it's not all that much of a problem if I don't entirely know how to use her. And oh, he does have his own burst attack. I have my own burst attack as well that I forgot about. How about I go ahead and use that right now? And I could flop on the ground like a fish, okay. 
Gonna keep on stabby, stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Okay, do the little thing like that. Where are you going, Ali? Okay. I'm not sure if the Joy-Cons are just being Akko Taco or if I'm just Akko Taco with these controls. Because a lot of these characters seem to be kind of floaty pody. Floaty pody. <laughs> Funny if she was watching, but no. Let's keep on going. Uh, lock up again so we get more damage. I wonder if Solange does more damage because I'm locked down on the same team. Not sure if that's how that works, but oh well. Just gonna keep on doing it anyway. Throw more bombs, throw more bombs, throw in so much more bombs into your butt because it's fun. Oh my god, I have no idea how happy I would be to see all them on the same screen. Well, I'll be. Butter my tail and call me a biscuit. We gotta run, Solange. Everyone else is probably headed to the castle. Take care of yourselves. Farewell, ma'am. Solange Blanche Fleur Deluxe. Solange Blanche Fleur Deluxe. Sure lucky to have an angel like her. I just love how horrible that pronunciation is. My sinking god. Oh, it's so singing funny. And now you play as the officer. I guess. Hooray. Uh, but yes, as you can see, we actually skipped a mission. We went ahead and did this with Solange and Allie, finding out where they landed once everyone exploded. But where did our other friends go after the explosion happened, hmm? How's about we go find out? Ow! Jeez, I think I broke something. Where are we? Where's everyone else? It's okay. I can find them. How? Zozo, are you a sage too? It's the sword. I feel a healing energy. That way. That's amazing! I could almost kiss you! Or hug you, at least. Don't get too excited. This won't be easy. I got this! Let's get going! This is my time to shine! Oh, I just switched the song. But yay! Zozo and Allegra are in the same battle together! It's so sinking cool! Oh my god! Oh, this just makes me so sick and happy. I wish this was a thing throughout the entire game. I'm glad that they added it, but like, the, the idea was in mind, so they added it for these parts, but why not for the entire game? It's fun. Like, maybe they just thought it would make the game too easy if you had multiple characters in every single mission, but I don't know. It's, it just makes me happy. Why don't you want me to be happy, game? I don't understand. Uh, just get rid of that character and Kerblooey up in there. Uh, but yeah, uh, something about, uh, like, you're saying I could almost kiss you. Well, not really. Uh, I guess because she's made a bunch of corpse parts, but come on Allegro, you'd be lucky to get a lady like Zozo, but uh, Some of you may question why Suke Kage wanted to go on a date with Zozo even though she's clearly in an undead body and everything like that uh, It's never mentioned throughout the game I was trying to mention it before but I just ran out of time because we have such limited time in those earlier miss missions uh, But Suke Kage is actually blind. It's never mentioned in game, but only in the instruction manual with character descriptions and it's just another thing, like, these characters are so unique and have, like, such distinct features about them, but you never get to learn about them because they never talk about them, and there's just so little time we have with them. This game is so short. It needs to be longer, there needs to be a sequel, there needs to be an anime. I, I just adore this game and these characters so stinking much, and I want the world for them. Oh my god, seeing Zozo and Allegra, they're so stinking cool. Oh, I wish you were in Blade Strangers, then life would be so stinking perfect. I would learn how to play fighting games if... Is Allegro dead? Is he? S oh no, he was just playing dead. I was like, do they have HP? Because like I couldn't see where Allegro's HP was. Usually in these escort missions, they have their own HP that you can see, but I couldn't see Allegro, so I guess he can't die in this mission. I don't know. But that was really weird. Uh, uh, and oh my God! Allegro did his power up thing. Since I was in the ring with him, I also got attack up. That's awesome! Oh my God! And it's another reason why they should have multiplayer in this thing. Check out this song I wrote while I was beating those guys up. Maybe we should split up. Hey! Don't leave me! And now that that's taken care of, we are now heading to Memories, the next mission. Can you place everyone in this? In the 3DS version, you could use any character, but no, only Solange and Ally still. But in the 3DS version, you could use any character. It's just that the beginning cutscene is only available to Solange and Ally. Uh, we played as Ally last episode. Let's go ahead and use, or last mission, so let's go ahead and use Solange. I can see Heliodor Castle. We're getting close. 
I never thought we'd be back here. Yay! Double mission! And I love the Solange theme! Oh my god, hooray! Oh, uh, only now they start switching the songs between the cutscenes and stuff. I'm like, I don't know why, but whatever. I'm not complaining because all the songs of this game are amazing. And like, oh my god, I'm so happy that like they're all here now. Maybe that's like the thing. Like, after we've been separated, we realize how much we depend on each other. And from here on out, we're going to have multiplayer missions for the rest of the game. That would be amazing. I hope so. I doubt it because I can't have nice things. But my god, I would love it if they did that. Oh, that would be such a nice surprise because I supposedly know everything about this game, but like I'm still discovering new things because I haven't played the new version and I wanted to share that with all of you. I wanted to share that excitement because I don't think I would have been able to get that excitement through to you if I knew about it before and being like, in the 3DS version, you couldn't have multiple characters in this mission or whatever, but in this one you can, which is really cool, but no, I get to experience that for the first time be surprised by it because I didn't know about it and it's just so stinking cool and makes me happy. Oh my god, I love it. Go ahead and get rid of these fools with the power of friendship. There ain't nothing we can do. We can't do or whatever. We're just gonna keep on doing friendship stuff. Friendship never ends. Let's see if we can get back over here. Get rid of these fools. Oh, I love that combo. Oh geez, hello. Let's see if we go back down. Get back down. Oh, I want to do that combo. Yeah, I got the stab in them right at the end. That's good. And yeah, I know I completely didn't. I completely disregard the fact that Juponki took off his mask. It was like so epic. You'd think he would sound all like normal well, because Ali said he used to be normal like back in the old days, but uh, he was still super crazy when he had the mask off. He was still using the voice, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I like the reveal and all, but I still prefer his over the top dramatic voice. And thankfully that isn't gone. Go ahead and see if we can get rid of these guys. Uh, Allie's just slicing and dicing, going to just topple them all over. Let's see if we can get rid of this one. And we're good, okay. Let's see how much this guy has, how much HP. Look at the trees in this game, they look really nice. Like, I don't know, I'm just enjoying this game so much, thinking more that we're done with the stinking Lion Gate fight, because my god, that was horrible. Okay, he's gone. And... Oh, okay, not sure why that happened, but whatever. Gonna keep running. And stabby stabby. I assume that's the boss dude over there. If we defeat him, then they'll disappear. But that's an old enemy. We've seen him like long ago. And of course, the monsters and uh, soldiers are working together to defeat us because ever so conveniently that just works out like that. I know that. Well, I guess that makes sense then because Dis Destiny said that she was uh, using the monsters for her own good and stuff and she's controlling them and all that jazz. So I guess it makes sense now. I'll give you that one, Code of Princess. We got a lot of awkward story quirks, but this one isn't one of them. You thought it out. It's very well explained and stuff, and it took me until now to just ex understand that or whatever. But whatever. So let's just keep going. But then again, isn't Disney like only or just steal only in it for herself? Well, shouldn't like the monsters be like attacking everyone, even the soldiers that she tricked into helping her? I don't know. Maybe that's not how it works. Maybe she is able to just uh, continue to use people. Let me see if we can get rid of these guys. Use a burst after so long. I'm sure a lot of people don't like that I don't use bursts as often as I should. Go ahead and get rid of these fools. And did Allie finish them off? Cool beans, Allie. You're awesome. And we're still going. Still going. No problemo. We got the ooze. The mini ooze. Oh no. See if we can get rid of all these fools. I assume that's the boss over here. Yeah, it's time for everyone's favorite game. Find the main anime character. Go and slice the dice. Yeah, that's how that combo's supposed to work. Okay. Get rid of all of these suckas. See if I can lock onto the big mamma jamma. That'd be very awesome. Uh, yes we did. Okay, cool. If I could get some attacks, then that'd be even cooler, but... Oh my god, I'm just like, I don't know what else to say, really. I'm just happy that Allie's here in the fight and everything. I'm just gonna be happy, happy for the rest of the game. Uh, this might be the day I finally finish recording them. By the way, speaking of recording, I have sort of a new setup. I'm in a new place, and I know I've been, like, moving around a lot lately, but... Uh, this new place I'm um, at right now, I discovered that the window is not very good. It does not, uh, stop noise from coming in all that much, so... I currently have my bed, like, pushed up against the window, and it's just up against the wall right now, keeping noise out. And it's working so far, so I guess that's my new recording setup whenever I want to record, I just push my bed up against the wall. And I guess in the future, if you ever hear a loud thud or anything during recording, then that's the sound of the bed falling over. Surprised it hasn't happened yet, but okay, no problem, no complaints here if it doesn't fall over. And we got a boss we need to defeat.
It's over here. We got... Hello! It's a gray ogre giant knight thingy. Let's see if we can get rid of him. Uh, going to first. And just slice and dice. Let's see if we can do this. Thank you! Uh, we sort of went overboard with it. But whatever. Uh, go down here. It just always overshoots it. I kind of wish it just went a bit less further out, but whatever. Because you want to do the combo to get them set up, because you have to be close for that, but then she ends up going too far away. It's kind of weird. Uh, maybe it's more suited for multiplayer, where characters are a lot smarter, or just human players are a lot smarter, and they could just get out of the way, or they think they'll, get, they'll be getting out of the way, when in actuality they're uh, walking right into your trap. Maybe that's how it works? I don't know. And hello, jeez, this guy's a jerk. Uh, let's see if we just get rid of him. Good luck on. Thank you. Do the old slice and dice. I actually know how to use Solange now. Hooray! After using her in like a bunch of different dimensions and stuff. Get rid of him. Come on. Oh, come on. You're almost done. Allie, what are you doing? You're just guarding against a bunch of bees. I know bees are scary and all, but come on. Well, doesn't matter anymore because we did it. And Allie's doing a dance? What the fruit? Um, Allie? You should turn around. What? This is my responsibility. If something happened to you or the others, I couldn't forgive myself. Quit being so dramatic. It's my fault you got caught up in all this. Solange, take a look at this. Here. Huh? I know this. This was my lucky charm when I was little. I've hung on to it for years now, so I don't forget to repay you. I don't understand. Elsena? From the courtyard? That was you? The thief girl? You lied to your father's guards so I could escape. You told them I was your friend. After that, I always wanted to have a real friend. Someone who wasn't ashamed to stick up for me. I didn't lie to those guards. Alcena was an important friend to me. She was then, and she still is now. Solange. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> I can't let you face the queen alone. You're my friend, and we're in this together. So sorry to interrupt, but you mind if I tag along? Count me in too. Yes! Yes! This is the best game ever! Allegro? Zozo? Where'd you guys come from? How'd you find us? Zozo here was drawn to the sword. I, of course, relied on my cunning sagery skills. Ah, so warm. Looks like we got the band back together. Do you still think we're gonna let you march in there without us? Thank you. All of you, with friends like you guys, there's no way we can lose. Yeah, I hope that's true. To the capital! <laughs> oh my god, I just love how stinking mushy and corny it all is. Like, I don't know, like, first time playing this, I seriously just... I got a big dorky grin on my face. Yay! I can play as the orphan! And the girl! And villager, the best Smash Bros. character! Housewife, my favorite! Old man, are you kidding me? And old woman, the toppest of tears! Yes, you can play as the generic townsfolk. They have no actual attacks other than one damage slaps or kicks or whatever. It is hilarious, and we will definitely show it off in a bonus video. But my god, after I saw, I saw that for the first time, I was so stinking happy. I think that moment right there was what made me just say, This is the best game ever, because it's about friendship, and everyone's so funny and weird and awkward, but they're all nice and kind to each other, they care about one another. Even though they get on each other's nerves, they still care about one another, they're trying to achieve a common goal. Like, it just made me so stinking happy. I don't know why, it just makes me happy, and I love this game, and I always will. And I'm so happy I stuck with it for so long because look at where we are now with the Switch version and Blade Strangers and everything and I'll just never get over it. 
Oh my god, I love Code of Princess so stinking much. But we are going to take a break for now. Next time on Code of Princess, now that the band's back together, well, the important members at least, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find everyone else during our backtrack to Heliodor Castle. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.